If you played Kirby on the N64, you've Crystal not played Shards. real Kirby. It's yeah, no, Kirby Crystal Shards. Ever. It's the best. I know. A lot of people think that because they've never played real Kirby. Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to talk about how to create a split-screen conversation today. So there are three challenges when creating a split-screen conversation. First is syncing the footage, making sure the audio lines up uh, with both clips. Second is making sure that you have a good cut that shows both people, and we'll talk about a few different methods of doing that, but the method I'm going to use, and I'll show you how. And then we're also going to talk about how to reframe people once you have that crop created, once you have that uh, split screen already made. So first thing we're going to do is take this picture and picture track and delete it. It's going to get in our way. The next thing we're going to do is grab this first track right here, and then I'm just going to hit yes. And then I'm going to grab the second one. And I'm going to drop it in here and make sure the audio in the video, if you ever have that problem where it moves in both, just make sure the top one's highlighted. There we go. We got the audio in the video. But... If you notice, if I moved it, it's out of sync, so I'm going to hit Control z That's because I have this Ignore Event Grouping selected, so I'm going to unselect that, and now things should move together. There we go. So the first step is actually getting the sync together. So I'm going to just lower the opacity a little bit so I can see both hands at the same time. We did a clapping method where we both counted to three, and on three we clap. Now, this isn't perfect, and the reason why this isn't perfect is because we, we don't there is no way to get this exactly perfect because it's over the internet phone call and so there's just so much video processing lag time and everything your conversation itself isn't natural so uh we're going to try and get the uh the sync close to what we to what the conversation would be and the clap is a great way to do that you can see here where you can we scroll in you can see the waveforms now i'm not this is not i don't think this is the same clap right here as uh, because we did it a few times. So let me find that for you and I'll jump back in. Three. <laughs> yeah. Discord, Discord process. So what you can see here is this is actually how you would sync a clap. You would actually zoom in and look for that big waveform spike. If you can't see your waveforms, you can hit up and down, uh, shift up and shift down to, to change the visibility of the waveforms, but without changing the volume. But, uh, you can get these perfectly synced if you if you um, ungroup them, then you start dealing with the audio because right now it's got the frame to frame sync for the video. But if you take away that syncing, then you can actually sync the audio to uh, uh, right down to the sample rate. But that's not our goal here. Our goal is just to make this conversation sound natural. And the thing is, is he's actually recorded my audio and his audio together on the same thing so you can see here um, he's got me talking I've just got me talking but he's got me and him talking so you can see sometimes wow, wow we're that out of sync, sync. See? wow, wow we're that out of sync. sync I'm talking twice so what I can do is line up my waveforms to make sure that I'm talking at the same time wow we're that out of sync sync try again wow we're that out of sync there we go. And so now our conversation is lined up. And I did that by looking at waveforms and having a reference clap. Now, it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter to be perfect because uh, the conversation itself wasn't perfectly in sync. So for me, I'm actually going to put this clip on the top because of the framing. It's easier. It's going to be easier to show you what I'm doing with this one. But then uh, I'll show you how to fix the framing on the bottom one. So first off, uh, let's go ahead and do the split screen effects. So now if you go to your vi video effects, you can do this with Bezier masking. This would be a totally acceptable re way to do this. I'm actually going to use cookie cutter. And the reason why is because cookie cutter crop would also work. Uh, but cookie cutter is just like a low resource way to do this. It's easy. It's simple. It makes sense. It only takes a second. So I'm going to drag and drop that to my top clip. You can also do it, control Z here. You can also do it to your track. Too, if you're going to be doing, um, if you're going to be doing any kind of movement or cutting or multiple takes, uh, I would recommend putting it on the track and just only putting this one top video on the track. But uh, that that's how we're going to do it right now. But both are acceptable. I'm going to make this border a little smaller, 
and then I'm going to create a bigger size and then there you go you can almost see it taking shape right there now here's where it gets simpler I'm gonna add this gr grid overlay you can go to over here to this drop down menu and hit grid and this is how you can make sure that is perfect there are nine lines that go across the side here so the after the fourth one the fifth one would be the center line one two three four five this is the center line makes sense because it looks like it's in the center and you can grab this little dot right here or you can go to this little dot here but you'll have and, and control it but you'll have more control I just rolled my mouse wheel which changed the size so let me get the size bigger again uh, you can get this line to center up right on this line then take the grids away there we go now we got a perfectly centered grid now you don't have to have the border here you can uh, you can change the border color you can change the border color or you can get rid of the border altogether with this simple little slider here and then uh, now that we got one last problem we need to change where Steven is in this video he's kinda small he's got some letterboxing it's not gonna work so uh, you can do this with the event pan crop tool right here you hit this right here and then change it but we're gonna do it on the track itself so not on uh, the, the event or the clip but on the track so I'm gonna go over here to the hamburger menu and this will work because only this video will be on this track. I will make sure no other video is on this track. So go to track motion. Now this isn't motion tracking. That's in Bezier masking. This is different. The track motion is where the motion is on the track. So this is like your event pan crop tool. Don't make sure this isn't on your sync cursor uh, and you just want it right here at the beginning you only want to affect one keyframe so if you see a bunch of multiple keyframes affected uh, that's a great way to do some track movement uh, but we don't want any movement we just want one solitary position so uh, I'm gonna stretch this out and make it a little bigger and then I'm going to move it I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and I'm gonna try and put his eyes Kind of about level with my eyes more on the upper thirds there without any black on the video showing and i want to give it some lead room i want to show some some space where we're direct or where we're looking so me looking this way a little bit him looking this way a little bit so that we, we got some space in between us and there we go now we've got a split screen conversation uh again it is slightly out of sync so to make sure very very important thing to make sure it stays in sync i should have said this a little bit earlier but i will say it right now so to make sure these stay in sync once they're in sync you want to hit control and highlight each and every one of these fresh so control highlight 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 and highlight and then hit the g key that will group them all together and once you've done that then you can edit them all like you want to then they should all move together unless one starts too far in then it won't move them all together but now they'll all move together and you can make cuts and still keep them grouped and move them together and make more cuts and stuff like that so now you can edit the conversation and it's going to stay a conversation so that has been how to make a split screen conversation in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. If you're new to editing, please check out my Udemy tutorials. And i got all sorts of newbie tutorials here on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.